So I got this killer stump cut in the other day that's like the bottom section of the stump. They cut the butt log off. The stump was still sticking up out of the ground. And there was still about a foot of material that they needed to remove off the stump before they did the grinding. Um, it's about 55 inches around. Uh, well, actually, it's, it's 55 inches one way. And the other way, it's about 48. So we're going to put that on the Woodmiser LX250 and uh, we're gonna cut some big old cookies out of it it's uh, Sequoia Redwood I'm gonna uh, turn the camera around and we'll show you the stump cut that we're talking about but uh, stay tuned stay tuned we're gonna show you what we do to cut these big old cookies I'm Charles and welcome back to Knothead Custom Sewing's YouTube channel everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell button. So here's the big cookie. This one is a Sequoia Redwood cookie. Right now it's about 13 or 14 inches thick. We are going to put this on the Woodmiser LX250 and we are going to slice it this way into three cookies that are approximately four inches thick a piece it's almost 55 inches that way and forty eight inches that way so it's a pretty decent size I like this particular piece I like this particular piece because here in the center you got a little bit of a punky section and it looks to me like there's a little bit of root right there so this is down low on the stump where the uh, root was attached to the log so we got this punky section and what I like about the punky section what I like about the punky section is as this thing is drying this will not have to shrink at the same rate as this so I'm pretty sure that this outer circumference will stay together with no cracking we are going to put this on the LX250 saw it up we'll take some pictures of it these cookies will be available for sale if somebody's interested in them or we're going to stack them up with the rest of our cookies so that we can get it dry if we still have them once they're dry we will probably knock this punky section out and build a resin table resin cookie table where this is filled with resin but uh, in the meantime I'm gonna put this on the mill and uh, the LX250 we're gonna put this on the mill and we're going to show you how it goes for us cutting this into cookies so let's get going <laughs> Now this one is sitting pretty good and pretty even on the bunks, but what I like to do 
is I like to take a piece of wood and put it here on the back stops so that this chunk is sitting up against that so that if it does possibly want to slide this way that piece of wood will hold it in place and the weight of this is enough to where I'm not really worried about it moving now. I really like this tensioner on the LX250. I like that it has a gauge on it so that we can see how much tension we run on our blades. Makes it so you can be consistent. Now we should be ready to go. So this LX250 uses Woodmeister's simple set, uh, set works to lower the head in controlled increments. I really like that feature with this mill, being as though we cut a lot of slabs that are the same thickness. Once we get to the end of our cut and we raise up the head to gig back to the front of the log, the mill remembers what height it was. So if we tell it that we want a four inch thick slab, it remembers where it was, calculates where it needs to go for the next drop. And when we hit the down button, uh, it automatically drops down to the next four inch cut and uh, what a great feature I'm, I'm glad that we have that there's so many mills out there that don't this makes it real easy and super simple to uh, get repeatable cuts hence the name simple set gotta love it So what I'm doing here is getting everything lined up and set so that I can set my simple set, the computerized set works for the depth of cut that I want, and I'm setting this up so I'm making a skim cut right here on the very top to get a nice flat surface, mainly so that they stack well when I go to stack them up on pallets on stickers. That's really the only reason I'm doing the skim cut. And then we're going to set the computer. So it really couldn't be much easier to set this Woodmiser simple set. You just position the head where you want to start your cuts at and use the arrow keys to take the size up to the size you want. In our case, we're doing four inches. Now we're ready to go. Let's cut some cookies, boys and girls. So now that we've reached the end of our cut, we're going to raise the mill head up, do a gig back with the carriage back to the front of the mill, and then we're going to hit the down lever on the simple set, and the computer is automatically going to go right to that next 4 inch cut, remembering where we left off. So now the mill head is already set where we want it, so all we need to do is continue cutting some cookies.
take a minute to say thank you to all of our subscribers for your continued support here on our YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification button so you get notifications each time we post a new video. Thanks for all your support. We cut a quite a few large cookie slabs here. They make really interesting tabletops, whether it's a pub table or a coffee table or even a dining room table. People enjoy building tabletops out of these cookie slices. I'd say those cookies are looking pretty good. Gonna probably be a bumpy ride. 
but I think the new meats might work out pretty good. What do you think? Thank you again all for your support here on our YouTube channel. And we'll check you out on the next one.